I'm about to head to work and I thought I would do a, a quick list of what I'm reading at the moment. Um, right now, I am in the middle of uh, She Come By It Natural, which I know this camera flips everything around so that you can't read the title the right way, but it is a biography of Dolly Parton, kind of, but it's also the uh, author kind of associating her songs with a particular demographic of women who associate with with what Parton would have been talking about, which is uh, lower socioeconomic and women who just are not your typical what you see a lot of of feminist talk about and different things like that and how Dolly Parton and her music sort of speak to them and and associate with them and it's it's a very quick read for one thing but also very interesting because she does talk about Dolly Parton as as like a biography um, as well as how, why her, why she herself is so universally beloved, um, in a lot of ways by a lot of different people. So I'm kind of in, in the middle of that one at the time being. I have just started, um, Behind the Horror, which these are true crime stories that inspired horror movies. And not all of these are horror movies. Some of these I would consider thrillers, but same idea. This is from DK, which they've started making instead of their like big white books where they had that were like lots of kind of encyclopedia, encyclopedia looking things with lots of pictures. They've started publishing these type of things too, which are a lot of them are very true crime related or paranormal or something like that. I just finished the one that they had about cults, which was pretty interesting and 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 very very timely because they were it was it was very recent um but this one um thus far some of these I'm, I'm well aware of just because i read true crime a lot um some of these are perhaps not as not as well known um stories here but i like this particular publishing it's not publishing house but it's a series that they put out so um i figure that will be pretty pretty good. The other one I have just started and I'm struggling to get through the first chapter, but it's The Survivalist, um, which is clearly a very old pulpy novel. And I kind of love the fact that that the main character looks like badass Dwight Schrute from The Office on that cover. I, <laughs> the cover art is just great. Uh, this one is one that um, is being read on Criminali and He's quite far through the series. I'm just trying to get through the first book because the first book just, I read pulp, but this one just sort of like throws you into and just gunfire everywhere because I think they're attacking a drug, uh, a, a drug base somewhere in like Pakistan or something. And uh, at this point, I'm still trying to figure out what's happening uh, up through the first chapter. So we'll, we'll see how that goes. I do love the cover art though. Uh, the most fascinating one I'm reading at the moment is uh, Mirage Men by Mark Hookington, and it is, clearly it is about UFOs, as you can see on there, but he is talking about, he's kind of in the UFO world and different things like that, but he's, I wouldn't necessarily call him a skeptic, but he is somebody who is kind of a third-party observer to a lot of stuff. And it's very interesting because his, not necessarily thesis, because this is written more like a thriller in a lot of ways, but his, his, what he was coming across a lot in different things is the fact that the U.S. government and intelligence is kind of the one pushing out a lot of this stuff that fuels the UFO craze and sort of his thought process on the whole thing, maybe not thesis, but his thought process on it is the fact that he feels like this is sort of done by the government to, I guess the term is muddy the waters. It's, it's kind of like a distraction. It's if, if everybody's focused on UFOs and, and paranormal and stuff like that, they won't be paying attention to what we're actually doing. 
in, in different things. So he has a he has a logical argument, but particularly because they he start he's they're trying to track down this guy named Richard Dotty, um, who is involved in this whole situation of the CIA. Uh, putting out information, and there was this one scientist who worked in intelligence and things, uh, Benowitz, that really was driven to a nervous breakdown because he got interested in UFO stuff, and then it it's like his job sort of played the most evil prank on him by sort of like feeding him more information, and he got further and further and further into this this world and this madness and eventually he had like just a, a meltdown and Richard Dotty was part of that and Pilkington in his book is trying to track down Dotty because they're going to make a documentary about him and as he's going along he's talking about all this all this very muddy information that's come out from weird sources and sources that have ties to the CIA and all sorts of different things and it does kind of have a thriller edge to it just because I can see where he's coming from. His 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 argument makes sense in all of this. And it's not really an argument. He's just kind of reporting on it and being like, well, this came from where that came from. So, you know, um, I don't know. But this one, I'm about 100 pages in it. And this one is the most interesting of what I'm reading at the moment just because, um, just because of what he was finding and uncovering here. So that is what I am reading at the moment, um, which that Dolly Parton needs to go back to the library pretty soon. So that one will probably be the first one finished.